Hello everyone, my name is Wawa and I'm back for game number 2 of semi-finals eh? It is still between Mineski Strife and Kaboom Wawa Quick Attorney Round number 10 Hosted by Wawa Starcraft and PinoyStarcraft.com We're gonna start game number 2 in 3, 2, 1 and go We have here Mr. Mineski Strife spawning at the bottom left position of the map as the purple zerg and his opponent is still kaboom spawning at the bottom left bottom right position of the map now as the teal protoss we are gonna see here the map is gonna be shakur's plateau so very very odd to see that kaboom decided to pick this map as it is known for being favorable for macro play and zerg play i have to say and i don't know what kaboom can do here but then again uh, maybe he's gonna show us how he plays macro that's what i like to see because kaboom pretty sure you guys all know Kaboom how he plays he actually do, does a lot of cheese and unique builds in openings that's how he wins that's how he moves forward in the series but then again here we go we are back here in the semifinals and he can't do the same thing twice and yes indeed he did put down this forward pylon right here by, below or by the second level of elevation right here of the land or whatever you call it so he's, there's, uh, this is actually a big sign that he's gonna go for a fast expand or very very early expand so it's gonna be a forge fast expand then a gateway or maybe a forge then a gateway then fast expand so we'll see we'll see though but then again my next step can easily easily counter this off by just making seven roaches that's it that's 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 what all my next step can do or that's what uh, my next step just needs to do is just make seven roaches and then this continuous harassment here in the base of Kaboom because there's a timing push in the Zerg in the Zerg dictionary where you have when you can when you can make a push if your Protoss player is not is going for an early span so yeah that that is the roach push that is called the seven roach push ladies and gentlemen and I'm pretty sure you guys all know about that or hope you guys know about it as you're gonna see or hopefully Hopefully, Minescribe goes for it as now he sees that there's going to be a forward expansion right here. Yes, indeed, that drone is going to be able to scout that. And yes, that drone doesn't need any more information. He knows he can kill this off with just one single push. As look at that, Minescribe isn't even going to go for his early expansion as well. So, yeah, very, very nice jump right here by Minescribe. He's just playing really, really safe right now. Actually, he can just easily push in right here as we are seeing a falling kind of being built right here. By Kaboom, that's not gonna be enough though. Seven Roaches can easily kill that off, so you better be careful if we do see that seven roach push that I was talking about. But anyway, this is a four player map. Two Selga Towers in the middle, two expansions and the corners. Actually there's a lot of expansions here. There's three up here, then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten expansions all in all, so that's gonna be a lot of bases. That's fourteen bases in total. So you can see a lot of action here. So this is why a lot of people like to play this map because you you get to play like a brute war ish uh, play play style in this map as you can go easily with macro and this overload is wow really really out there. Better be careful. But then again, that thing really out of the base of Kaboom right now. That thing should air except for this floating cannon. So yeah, that overload is gonna chill there for a, long, a little bit longer. And look at that, a rose warren is going down right now and a fool. Surprisingly, there's four Zergnix from traveling the field right now. I'm mm, gonna force that probe away. So yes, indeed, we might see the seven force, seven warp gate, or seven roach push here. As we're gonna see this roach almost completed, and we'll wait and we'll wait and we'll wait. Are we gonna see it? We are seeing three and four Laris come out, and yes, seven roach push, guys. Look at that Ehon timing right there by Mr. Manesky Strip. That's how good he is, and let's see how good he is at making this work. As there is two folding cannons right now in the base of Kaboom, Cybernetic Core, Gateway, and a Zealot as well, blocking off that ramp. So it's gonna be a tough, it's gonna be tough. We'll see if we can pull it off. As we do see that Order is still there, that, that that's a big, big sign that there is no nothing in the base of your enemy. That's a clear, clear sign that your enemy is not doing anything at all. Oh, look at this though. Wow, he's making two gateways at behind his base. So we might see something of a variation here from Kaboom. So this is faking for an forward opening, but he's not really going for going to go for the forward opening as he is going to go for two more gateways right here. Not really dropping down the nexus as well. So yes, you need very very interesting play right here by Kaboom. And here we go. We're going to see the seven roach is going to be traversing the field slowly but surely going to do some damage in the base of Kaboom shortly. And look at that, they're just compiling right now with those old trees right there. And here we go. We are going to see the first bash right here. He's going to focus fire on the. Pony can, that pony can is gonna go down very, very quickly, but today the roach 
went down instantly. Very, very nice. And then, oh, look at that. He trapped one of those roaches right there. Oh, no, that roach is trapped. But then again, this Ronin is working right again. That, oh, that Zell is gonna go down as well. So, wow. Wall completely broken. Good job right here by Strife. Kaboom is in big, big trouble. Can he summon out a lot more units? Warp Gating Roger isn't even completed as these two gateways aren't really doing anything at all right now. And wrong timing to put down the Nexus lane. You know, and that's a very, very sad timing to put down that right Nexus. As we're seeing Strife right here is just focusing fire on those pylons to stop production in, those, in that gateway right there. He doesn't know that there's still two gateways right here in the base, so yes, yeah, Minus is just going to push forward as he knows that the front base of Kaboom is completely shut down. Nothing can really come out of that base anytime, any soon. And look at that killing talents after talents. Kaboom is in big, big trouble. No units at all here. And Kaboom says just GG. He knows it. Can't really do anything about it. And good game, good game. That is how you do an initial or a very, very basic 7 roach push, guys. So yes, be careful when you're expanding Protoss players because. 7 watch push is very very effective so yes game number 2 goes to Minas Strap and he's gonna go on to the finals so game number 3 it's not gonna happen so semifinals B is gonna happen so stay tuned for that I'll be casting that in just one second guys stay tuned